Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. In this video, I will show you how to get Apple Intelligence on your iPhone. At the moment, this is only compatible with iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And I'm sure with the new iPhone 16 series coming up, it will be compatible with 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max as well. With Apple Intelligence, Apple has introduced some new cool features. Some of them have been copied from Android. AI is the future and both Apple and Android are trying to give their users best AI experience by their user interface and their software version. So with the new iOS 18 beta 1, Apple has launched their new AI features. So if you're using iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, you can easily install the Apple intelligence features on them. Let me show you step by step guide how to install it. All you need to do is go to settings, go to general, click on about phone. And just to show you all that currently I'm running the iOS 17.5.1 version. To install iOS 18 beta 1 version, you need to go to Safari and type in developer.apple.com and choose iOS 18. It will give you a glimpse of what is coming in iOS 18, all the latest features. And here is the Apple Intelligent feature, which is going to come for the future iPhones and iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So click on download. Now here you need to sign it to your Apple account. As you can see, I have already signed in. And once you sign in, you just scroll down and, and click on install profile. Click on allow. Click on close. Now go back to settings. Go to general. Click on VPN and device management. You will see the new profile which you have downloaded. Click on that. Now click on install. Enter your passcode. It will give you a small warning that this is a beta version. So this is not the regular iOS version. This is a beta version. So it will have some issues. Your device can hang a bit. Some bank applications might not work and so on. Click on install. Again, click on install. Click on restart. So after the restart, go to settings. Go to general. Click on software update. And here you need to click on the first option, Beta Updates. Over here you will see the iOS 18 Developer Beta Profile. So over here you can see you have the Public Beta and also the Developer Beta. You also have the older version if you want to downgrade your iPhone. For Apple Intelligence, we need to click on iOS 18 Developer Beta. Go back. And here we are. So now you have two options, either to update to iOS 18 Beta 4. And the second option is Upgrade to iOS 18. Click over here. And you have an option to upgrade to iOS 18.1 beta. We have to choose this option for the Apple intelligence. Click on update now. Again, enter the passcode. The file size will be quite big, so it will take some time. You need to have some patience. So once you download and install iOS 18.1 beta on your iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, so I have successfully installed iOS 18.1 beta on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. As you can see over here, I'm running iOS 18.1 beta version, but we are still not done for the Apple intelligence. So even after installing iOS 18.1, we are still not done. There are a few more steps you have to do to activate Apple intelligence. Again, go to settings, scroll down, and you will see the icon Apple intelligence and Siri. Click on that. Now, unfortunately, Apple intelligence is not available in some EU countries and China. Since I live in UAE, so it's not available in this country, in this region at the moment. Now, if you're living in US, Canada or any other part of the world except for China and EU countries, you will be able to use Apple intelligence, but you have to do one more step. It's not available for any other language at the moment, so you need to have English language selected. At the moment, it only works with English language, but I'm sure in the future, Apple will roll out some new updates, which will support a lot of other languages and also a lot of other regions. So since I'm living in UAE, this region doesn't allow me to use Apple intelligence at the moment, but there is a small trick. You can definitely go and change the region. Click on language and region. And I can choose United States. I hope this might do the trick and I can use Apple intelligence in UAE. So even if your region is not supported, you can change the country from the settings and you might be able to use Apple intelligence. So I change it to United States. Now let's see whether it will give me an option to use Apple intelligence or not. So as you can see, I have changed my region to US now. Let's go back again. Click on Apple intelligence and Siri. 
And here we are. Luckily, I'm able to see the join Apple intelligence waitlist. If you see this message in your region, you can easily use Apple intelligence. So click on that and click on join the waitlist. Usually it takes few minutes and you'll be notified when Apple intelligence is available for your iPhone. Usually it doesn't take much time. You'll be notified within few minutes or sometime in half an hour and you can start using Apple intelligence. But guys, just keep in mind that if you're using Apple intelligence by changing the region to US in a country which is not supporting at the moment, you might face some other issues with date, time and navigation and some other issues. It will definitely hamper your day to day life a little bit. But yes, this is the best way you can choose Apple intelligence in any country around the world by installing iOS 18.1 beta, which is available for iPhone 15 Pro Max and 15 Pro. And I'm sure the coming iPhone 16 series will get the full support as AI is the future.